Ahoy mates! Welcome to Sail Tradition, my name is Joa. This page is dedicated to the restoration and refit of a historic wooden schooner named Tradition. Although this project was started several years ago, it went on hold. But now we're getting back underway. Just the other day, I had a meeting with the owner Skip aboard Tradition where we discussed plans for the immediate future. Here's the video of that. I hope you like it. Check it out. Here we go. So anyway, I'll give you a shout in a bit. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate you. Hey, let's look at this rig while we're standing here. This is the rig. This is the problem. And you say because the mast step has pretty much sunken. Well, you can see all of the tension has been taken out. Yeah. I assume this is uh, temporary. Or are uh, you going to go over the top? No, no. This is all permanent. And then it was going to be teaked. Uh, a wood deck, not teak because it's outrageously expensive. I would like to learn to do that. Well, Eric's the guy, so no question about it. And actually he was pretty positive about working with you and said that Joa really stepped up. You know, on Hyperion. <laughs> Almost gives me a tear in my eye. <laughs> Holy shit. So you nice. got an attaboy out of him. Oh, wow. Very cool. Pretty rare. I'm gonna do wow. it right. I'll, I'll follow that process and do it right, you know. Yeah, yeah, and that's all that really matters with Eric. Yeah. Whole trans out here on the water. He said it was just a nightmare. I bet. It needs the haul out. Really? It's yeah. only got about six inches of standing water. Yeah, after not being pumped for probably hours, you know, weeks, who, who days, knows? months. Yeah, 1212. So that should be enough. This works. No, I'm not. Yep, seems to work fine. Oh, yeah, they put it up high. Yeah, it's up high. That's so. why it's not empty. Yeah. That's probably rainwater. Right. Why don't we just pump it all out? It should go all the way down to nothing. The cockpit doesn't have a drain on it, so all water coming into the cockpit goes right into the hull. Yeah. Why don't I bring a tarp out, stretch it over the cockpit? Yeah, 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 keep the rain out of the cockpit would keep the water out of the bilge. I was curious to look at the frames, you know? Okay, well the frames, Joa, is really the issue on yeah. this boat. Uh, the frames are it. Have you spotted with your own eyes where they're the worst? Oh. You look out anywhere, they're worse. This boat is not kept afloat by the frames. By the glass itself. By the glass. But it had 10 layers underneath on the bottom. That glass is good. That was like late 70s, early yeah. 80s glass. Uh, late 70s glass. In Tahiti. Done right? by Eric's dad, actually. Yeah. But they did it underwater, and then another owner realized just as i did on criterion it doesn't help to have it underwater only you no, got to have the whole especially on a monohole like that yeah yeah the whole deal so you see there really wasn't that yeah, much water and it in. does get right down there to not much so now we can see our mass step here and that's what eric's talking about and it's obvious yeah that's what he's talking about and so why can't we just put some system I here asked, once you do the haul out it's 800 bucks to use Take the, the crane out, yeah. and you just pull both of them out and build bright and, and you yeah. deal with all that needs to be dealt with that's right yeah that makes... he just says you gotta do it right yep. and pull it out and get down in there get out your chainsaw pull out the mat that and just stick another piece of good wood in there that's right. yeah it's just a block of wood and i said well what about all the frames he said it's just a block of wood that's all you're replacing mm -hmm. the frames are the issue in the boat you have to rip out the entire interior then that is exactly the truth and but that said this whole section comes out pretty right. easy you could save you know, it you could kind of just do a section and then you do another section back there, yeah, and that beefs it up. And did you see back? You already here? redid all the frames from the back up to here. Oh, and they're laminated. Yeah, they're all laminated. You did that at Alawai in the water. Yeah, in the water. This is one of the things that reminded me why you got to save this boat, Skip. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I know it's it's cool. That's handmade. Yeah. That's what it's a systems nightmare because it hasn't really been utilized you know yeah i see that <laughs> i've seen the, these done with the head right here 
That's a better place. Oh, that's where the original it's supposed to be. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's the perfect spot. Yes. Yeah, and that's where the head used to be. All the holes and, and you know everything. There. So this isn't original anyway. No, no. This is not original. No, it's not. This is actually the result of an uh, the owner Archie actually wanted a tour. Who lived on it. Yeah. And that's who put the the head, head up forward, there huh? because this was his master stateroom. Oh, Remember right. it was open. I put this all back. Still got your United States Coast Guard. Yeah, yeah. United States Coast Guard. Okay, so this one is just under 12. <sighs> we'll charge that. We do need to set up a nice solar system. You've got a panel here, but I've got one that's about five times the size of it. It's a little big for a boat, but for sitting out here, it's fine. Yeah. I'll bring it out. I've got solar controller and everything. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready.